On Friday, November 15th, protests broke out in Iran when the regime raised fuel prices by 50%. Immediately following, the government began shutting down the internet. Within 24 hours, practically the entire internet was shut down, including Iran's mobile networks, leaving the majority of the country disconnected and isolated from the world. During the internet blackout, the Iranian people were encouraged through state-controlled media to join in the protests, while also being warned that they will be arrested. Rouhani said that people have the right to protest, but they are not the same as people who rebel. Kayan News reported that ordinary people must separate themselves from the rebels. And BBC released video clearly showing the faces of several protesters, putting them at risk of arrest and torture. Reza Pahlavi encouraged people to protest in his name. He tweeted out, Pahlavi has always been with the people and hashtag people power. But when people began getting arrested and killed, Pahlavi's impotent tweets were useless. The MEK also encouraged people to protest without offering any actual support. There are now videos surfacing of schools being closed down and turned into detention centers. Videos show protesters being shot at and killed, women being fired upon, bodies being beaten and dragged away unconscious. Reports are now that over 100 people have been killed. The U.S. State Department announced that the U.S. will hold Iranian officials accountable and impose even greater sanctions against the struggling regime. The Islamic Republic is getting weak. Starting in 2005, the IRGC began acquiring state assets through shell companies to avoid being shut off by strict sanctions. And today, they control about half of Iran's gross domestic product. This gives the IRGC independence from Rouhani, and their divide is growing stronger, which only fractures the regime even more. Through all of these recent protests, the restart movement remained silent, in part because the internet was shut down, and they are not given a voice on state-run media like the other opposition groups are. And also, because they expressed concern for the safety of the people and questioned the authenticity of the protests. Iranians on social media suggested that the IRGC was trying to duplicate the restart movement's protests of the recent past and failing to do so. Iranian officials are now being accused of stealing dead bodies from morgues and injured patients from hospitals to hide the actual scale of violence being exercised by the Islamic Republic. While the people chanted, we don't want the Islamic Republic, others tore down a sign that said, down with America, as the crowd cheered. For Infowars.com, this is Greg Reese. Infowars. Tomorrow's news today.